and uh, exemplify and 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 dignify and support people that are fighting the new world order because you are the resistance, you are the answer. But uh, go ahead and then give us your point on the topic. Yes, sir. I, I'm going to need your address after this as well so I can send you the uh, uncut version of the video that we have. Um, what they did was I just got I just got an email from Keith, my film editor, and he told me that uh, what they did was they reinstated the ban on one of the scenes that we got in our documentary film, uh, banning our video in 232 countries worldwide. There's yeah, well, let's be specific. Countries. You made a documentary, say the name of it, say your YouTube channel, and then it got censored, and now because of our coverage and other folks, they're starting to take the ban away, but not fully. So tell folks about the film. Okay, the film is Revealing the Mind of a Tyrant, and we get into how Obama is connected to Adolf Hitler, and uh, we talk about how Obama's policies are the exact same blueprint to Hitler's Mind Kampf book. And... Uh, we point out the fact that Barack Obama has done everything against God, just like Hitler called for all of the Bibles to be burned. Barack Obama openly is passing policies against God with uh, homosexual marriage and uh, abortion, promoting Planned Parenthood, who kill babies, who, who kills uh, babies and harvest their organs and everything. We point out that Margaret Singer, the white supremacist, is supported by Hillary Clinton. And we actually showed a clip. If you can show the clip later on in your show again to let people know that Margaret Singer was indeed a white supremacist, and Hillary Clinton said that she was an inspiration to all people and everything. A known white supremacist that said the only thing that a black Negro can do to keep from, uh, to, to, can benefit is to keep from being born in this society. That's the best way to deal with a black Negro. Margaret Singer said that, the white supremacist. And then she spoke at five different Klan rallies she did as well. And we point that out in our film, uh, Revealing the Mind of a Tyrant. I urge everybody to please support that film. Uh, we, we were able to repeal YouTube again. But sure, we but expanding exactly on this, there's no profanity. You're clearly fair use showing clips of public figures. You do a good job. Uh, it's, 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 it's amateur, but the information's powerful. It's coming across to people. So they've restricted it. They've banned it. You've had to put it back up. And this just shows how controlled this country's getting. God bless you. I appreciate your call. And it just illustrates where all this is going. But if you look at the mind of a tyrant, it looks like something I made 18, 19 years ago. Now look at what we've done. And that's why I support independent activists and try to promote their material here. Uh, is because that's the answer to stop the globalist is to get everybody to be a mouthpiece for truth a watchman on the wall, a Paul Revere, to expose what's happening. And that's what we're doing. And the globalists want to destroy all of our communities. That's why they're pushing the most vile, nasty, arrogant, racist groups like Black Lives Matter and the new Black Panther Party who are just useful idiots is because they want to set each other's throats. And we all know that. So let's expose it. And let's speak out against it. And it's just going to continue to happen. Just like Planned Parenthood's being exposed and Hillary's in deep trouble. We're on the march. The empire is on the run. We have the power. Evil people are only in control because we've laid down so long. That needs to change. And yes, what YouTube does is when the White House or the Democratic Party or other groups who are in power don't like a website. Remember John McCain said he should be able to just go on YouTube and take down whatever he wants. Uh, uh, Lieberman, when he was a senator, said that too about five years ago. So it's Republicans too. But, but whoever's in power, they want to just be able to go in there and take down whatever they want, whenever they want. And when you got a small channel, but they see some video going viral, they'll censor you. Big channels, they don't do so much because they know that there's a lot of people watching, and they don't want to have that reputation. See, if you have your own media to speak out, they don't want to censor you if you're big. But if you're small but up and coming, they want to chop you off before you get big, and then once they've chopped you off, you don't have a venue. So let me give you some advice. Doppelgang your videos. Put them on Facebook. Put them on YouTube. I don't mean just spread them on Facebook or Twitter. Put them on Facebook and Twitter video. Put them on other platforms. If you're going to put a video up, put it up in five places. 
Every time they censor you, double down, triple down, quadruple down. I mean, I've been walking out the door before at 6 at night, and I get a death threat on my cell phone. I go, oh, that's it. Not coming home. I'm going to work an extra five hours. Somebody threatens my family with a hardcore real threat. That just lights a fire under my butt. Let's go to John in New York. Go ahead. What do you make of the epidemic of police and others being shot and the media trying to cover up? It's racially motivated. What do you think the White House endgame is? Um, I think it's ultimately to have everybody. It's ultimately divide and conquer. Um, I'm calling out a FEMA region, too. And I just wonder if any of the new Black Panther Party has actually read any of the writings from the old Black Panther Party, like Bobby Seals sees the time when they flat out say, you know, all power to all people. They basically say all lives matter. And it's just messed up. Um, and as I was sitting here listening, I was um, you made a lot of points about how the hip-hop culture was taken over. And I'm actually a political rapper. Um, I, I rap uh, with a group called Boondocks. We're out of Philadelphia and out of Western New York. And our website's I'm trying to tell you Cuz Entertainment. Um, we've got a lot of good stuff on there. But really... People need to wake up. I mean, and Paul Joseph Watson did an interview over the weekend about some lady on MTV saying that black people can't be racist. I experience racism from other black people, and I'm black just for the way that I for the way that I speak. So, you know, people just need to wake up and come together. Great job. Oh yeah, let's uh, be clear. If you're a black person, I've read about this. I've seen it. I've experienced it. I remember growing up in Dallas. Uh, there were black kids who were re real good in school, dressed in like sports jackets because uh, their parents were real Christian, kept them away from all the thug culture. And I remember the black kids, the bad black kids would mess with them, beat them up, you know, uh, tear their clothes, do mean things to them because they were simply trying to be successful. That's selling out, I guess, according to the gangster culture. Right, right. And um, a lot of people... Uh it's ridiculous. A lot of people run around. Um, you showed clips of some of these protesters saying that they they believe in the, in what Malcolm X taught. Uh, clearly, they didn't read the end of his autobiography when he went on his pilgrimage and came back with the name Al Haj Malik Al Shabazz, and you know said flat out that he was wrong. On well, how listen, what what what, like, what the White House is pushing through these dumb kids who are just useful idiots. I mean, you know. Uh, all of them out there, black, white, it doesn't matter that are pushing this, is they're ignoring what Martin Luther King said. They're saying the opposite. They're ignoring what Malcolm X said in the last third of his life. They're saying the opposite. Uh, they're ignoring the third of his career. They're ignoring just common sense. And they're arrogant, hateful little thugs. And they have the same look in their eyes I've seen in the Klan. It is a gangster thug mentality and that's what they're doing. God bless you, John. I appreciate your call. Stephen, Frank, Dion, Robert, your calls are coming up. 800-259-9231. Uh, we're going to talk about the shooting in Illinois. we got Dion calling in, who's uh, right by the shooting. We've got a bunch of other news. So stay with us. 800-259-9231. And we'll follow the latest cop shooting in Illinois. Stay with us. By the way, I've been telling people the last few weeks we're going to start bringing back the fourth hour. We're pretty much doing it now. We're going to have news director for the Nightly News, really smart fella, Rob Dew, hosting the fourth hour, taking your phone calls, covering all the latest breaking news, special reports, you name it, with Jakari Jackson. And we're also going to have Joe Biggs back in. Leanne McAdoo's host, hosting the Nightly News tonight. So Leanne McAdoo will be on tomorrow with Darren McBreen hosting. No, no, I'm just joking. Darren's busy uh, doing graphics. I'm trying to twist his arm into coming in here because he's super smart, super articulate on New World Order issues, but he likes to do tape reports, which he does a great job of. So I'm always trying to make him go live on air. You know, Paul Watson didn't want to go live. He's worked with me for 13 years, 14 years, since 2002. Early 2002, so almost almost 14 years or 13 years, whatever it comes out to. And he would not come on live with me. He did not want to do it. He did not want to have, uh, you know, videos and reports. He just wanted to write articles. But I made Paul Watson go on air, twisted his arm, 
and now he's more articulate than I am, more to the point, more focused. Uh, and so that's why I want to start getting Mikhail Thalen and Kit Daniels and Adon Salazar and Kurt Nemo uh, and the other writers. They're really smart and informed. So you'll see them as guests, too, uh, in the future in here. And, and the folks in the control room can chime in, and we're going to bring in special guests. So the fourth hour is back. For any affiliates that want to carry it, I do the first three hours. Then there's the fourth hour. And we'll also have things where we air special reports I've done in the fourth hour. Sometimes I will host the fourth hour, as I've already been doing. You notice the last month or so, I've been doing it once or twice a week, half an hour, a full hour of it. Uh, but pretty much starting now, why not? We're doing the fourth hour every day. In fact, let's just say this is it. It's already launched. Boom. Because uh, the crew's like, yeah, when are we going? I want to get on. So that's what it's all about. Uh, David Knight is on a well-deserved vacation with his wife uh, and children. I'll never forget the abortionist. When we were out at that demonstration, they're running around yelling, hell, Satan, I love the devil, I love killing babies. I'm ugly, I'm fat, I have hair under my arms. These are actual quotes. You've seen the video and heard it. I shouldn't laugh. I mean, they just hate life. They hate decency. They hate prosperity. They just hate honorable people. They're they're scum. I mean, I don't want to call them dog crap on my shoes because that's insulting dog droppings. I mean, I'm serious. And there's that clip of uh, David Knight's really sweet wife. And, of course, they adopted their daughter uh, from China. She was basically starving when they got over there to the orphanage. And uh, she was like two years old. And, and she said, I didn't. She goes, oh, yeah, you adopt your white babies, you racist. She goes, no, I, I didn't adopt a white baby. Oh, the white savior. Oh, oh. She goes, well, do, do you adopt your kids? She goes, I kill my kids. with play, Showing her teeth, I kill my kids. These are the type of groups and organizations that make up Black Lives Matter and these horrible communist organizations, it's all the same people. I've been around them for 23 years, politically active. I'd be out of the Second Amendment rally 23 years ago or a pro-life demonstration, and people in black, white, black, Hispanic, they're always the same. They always had like dead eyes and gray-looking skin. Even the black people have like gray-green skin. They're like ghouls out of a movie. It's like Omega Man. And they come over, they're like... <laughs> We're going to kill you someday. Get off when we take over. Hey. And I'd be like, man, don't you care about people's freedom? What's your problem? <laughs> Get you. I mean, they're like creatures out of a parable, out of a fable. And now I realize that's in the fairy tales and in the cultures because there's always been people like that. You know, it's like Linda Blair turns green and spits out, you know, green vomit. And that's an exaggeration of what these people are like. I mean, you're around them, and they're looking at you with hatred, and then their skin's like see-through. They got like, I mean, I don't know how, they're demons, man. They're demon-possessed. They'll even like, have like weird purple bruises and veins up on their necks. It's like a zombie in a movie. If you look at the video carefully, black, white, didn't matter. I mean, these people are evil. And they'll tell you, they go, we are evil. <laughs> And they're just so weak is also what's pathetic. But we let them rule over us so they get off on their power trips. In fact, can we play that with the audio? A little joke promo about the abortion team that Darren McBreen, again, the master editor, put together. And then I'm going to go back to your calls uh, and the news. I'm uh, ranting here. Let's go ahead and go to the abortion team. Here it is. In today's world, abortion supporters routinely attend pro-life rallies and attempt to bully activists. If you have a problem and need a smelly group of commie devil worshippers, maybe you can call the A-Team. How many did I adopt? I kill my kids. I kill my kids. Hey, we saw your Facebook with your communist hammer and sickle. That's pretty cool, man. Is that you on the Facebook? Okay. <laughs> Is there a Facebook page of you with a hammer and sickle? I don't think so. I don't want children. I love faith. <laughs> How do you get your abortions paid for? I pay for them. I thought really? you said How many free? You pay for? 
और अब 